Since her toxic workplace scandal back in 2020, Ellen DeGeneres just hasn't been the same. She was hit with a ton of backlash which caused her to lose fans and respect from a lot of celebrities. Since the scandal, Ellen has reportedly lost a million viewers and her show might be on its last leg. Many celebrities have contributed to Ellen's downfall and I have a list of them so let's count down the top 10 celebrities who cancelled Ellen DeGeneres. At number 10, Kathy Griffin. Of all the celebrities out there who has something against Ellen, comedian Kathy Griffin is one with the biggest grudge. Kathy has been feuding with Ellen for years and she's been outspoken about Ellen's mean Hollywood streak for a long time as well. In her book, Kathy Griffin's Celebrity run in my A to Z index, Kathy actually wrote in her book that Ellen is mean. She dished about some of her awful run-ins that she's had with Ellen, detailing how it's believed that a certain daytime talk show host has gotten Kathy kicked out of her backstage dressing room at the Emmys. In her book, she wrote, quote, I can't prove it, but this person who has short blonde hair has a mean streak that all of Hollywood knows about. Even though she didn't mention her by name, I'm pretty sure we can put the pieces together and figure out who that is. Kathy has also said that Ellen has badmouthed her in a monologue on her show when Kathy was there for a guest appearance, and they had some beef because of Ellen's grievances with the late Joan Rivers, whom Kathy was quite close to. No one wanted to believe Kathy's claims that Ellen was actually mean at the time, but after her scandal started to erupt, Kathy's claims were finally acknowledged, adding to her cancellation at the time. At number 9, Nikki DeJager. One of the instances that fueled the Ellen DeGeneres is over party was a testimony of sorts from YouTube beauty guru Nikki DeJager where she talked about how she was treated when invited on the show, saying that it wasn't at all what she was expecting. Nikki spoke out about the atmosphere at the Ellen show, saying that quote, the friendly, welcoming atmosphere that you see when watching Ellen isn't the reality in the studio. Nikki said that she was expecting a warm welcome when arriving at the studio, but that she was instead quote, greeted by an angry intern who was a bit overworked, saying that she was expecting something more fun and lighthearted, but instead receiving quote, Teletubbies after dark. Nikki also told sources that she didn't receive the same VIP treatment as everyone else, saying that she couldn't even use the bathroom closest to her because it was reserved for the Jonas Brothers, who were also on the show that day. She also remarked that Ellen was very cold and distant when the cameras were off, making for a very different vibe on the show. Nikki's comments on her time on Ellen sent the angry mobs of the internet after the comedian, adding more to her already growing scandal. Now before I carry on with the video, I'd like to ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far because it really helps the channel out. At number 8, Brad Garrett. As people started coming forward about their horror stories in reference to Ellen and her show, comedian Brad Garrett chimed in to speak his truth about who Ellen really is behind the scenes. After Ellen issued an apology to her staff members following reports of toxic workplaces, some people weren't buying into this declaration, including Brad Garrett. In response to Ellen's apology, he tweeted out saying, quote, Sorry, but it comes from the top at The Ellen Show. No more than one were treated horribly by her. Common knowledge. End quote. Maybe he was speaking from experience having worked in the same industry as her, or because he had been a guest on her show a few times between 2004 and 2007. The fact that he called Ellen's mean streak common knowledge really didn't help her case much because he insinuated that even though she's sending out a quick apology, that doesn't take away from the fact that so many people know her for who she truly is. His comments weren't as detrimental to her as others, but it did help solidify people's new perceptions of Ellen, keeping her cancelled status intact. At number 7, Neil Breen. When Ellen was first cancelled and people started coming forward with their experience working with or just being around Ellen, some real eye-opening stories came out, including one from an Australian radio host. Neil Breen, the host of the popular radio show for BC Breakfast, came forward to recount his only experience with Ellen back in 2013 when he was a producer for the Australian Today Show. Neil said that the show was conducting a sit-down interview with the comedian and he recalled receiving a long and detailed list of rules to follow outlining how to guide the show and how to act around Ellen. He spoke out about how Ellen's team was very controlling and how they pretty much just took over the entire interview, trying to make sure that they had prepared the quote, proper conditions for Ellen. Neil was also told by Ellen's producer that quote, you don't talk to Ellen, you don't approach her, you don't look at her, end quote. That whole time, he never got a chance to talk to Ellen personally, adding that the atmosphere was very tense and that Ellen's staff, quote, walked on eggshells the whole time. 
Neil's encounter backed up the stories of Ellen's employees showing that even in the land down under, Ellen creates a toxic environment. At number six, Mariah Carey. Following Ellen's mean streak exposure, people started looking into past interviews, and there were a lot of red flags for some. A lot of people found interviews that outlined how Ellen can often diss her guests, make snarky comments, and even go too far in some cases. One instance of Ellen going too far comes from her 2008 interview with Mariah Carey. In this televised interview, Ellen tried to get Mariah to reveal that she was pregnant after there was speculation that she was. Mariah didn't really want to reveal anything prematurely, which is completely understandable. A lot of people wish to keep their pregnancy private during the first trimester because unfortunately the risk of miscarriage is higher at this time. Though Mariah refused to say anything, Ellen kept berating her to the point where she brought out two glasses of champagne to quote, toast the fact that she wasn't pregnant. Mariah took a fake sip, which Ellen caught on to, and used this as proof that she was in fact pregnant. Sadly, Mariah ended up suffering a miscarriage shortly after this interview. Years later, when Ellen got canceled for her mean streak, Mariah spoke out about this interview saying, quote, I was extremely uncomfortable with that moment is all I can say. This old interview was used as more proof to use against Ellen, and Mariah was part of the reason she's been canceled. At number five, Dakota Johnson. In late 2019, actress Dakota Johnson sat down for an interview with Ellen, and some people see this interview as the one that started this whole Ellen is mean scandal. During the interview, Ellen berated Dakota about the fact that she wasn't invited to her birthday party. People saw this whole debate as something incredibly unnecessary, but the part that people loved the most was how Dakota shut Ellen down. When Ellen said that she was mad for not having been invited to Dakota's birthday party, Dakota, in response, said, quote, actually, no, that's not the truth, Ellen, you were invited. No, last time I was on the show last year, you gave me a bunch of crap about not inviting you, but I didn't even know you wanted to be invited." End quote. Dakota was even backed up by one of the show's producers who reassured Ellen that she was invited and that she just didn't show up because at the time she claimed that Dakota's Malibu party was, quote, a little too far for her. Dakota shutting Ellen down and not being made to look like the bad guy Ellen intended was great for fans, and following Ellen's cancellation months later, this prompted fans to celebrate the anniversary of this interview and took the time to cancel Ellen even further. Dakota's interview really got the ball rolling on this whole scandal and continues to keep it alive for some. At number four, Benjamin Simon. Podcaster Kevin T. Porter, who we will talk about later, sent out a tweet on March 20th, 2020, asking people to reply to him with their most insane stories about Ellen being mean. This picked up a lot of steam and prompted Benjamin Simon to come forward with six stories about Ellen that showed the world just how mean she really is. Benjamin spoke out about how Ellen reportedly has a sensitive nose and requires everyone to chew gum before talking to her and will order people to go home and shower if she doesn't like the way you smell. He also said that Ellen would pick on a different employee every day and that when she's in a bad mood, she gets staff members to come into her office and do bits for her to cheer her up. Benjamin also said that if Ellen doesn't like the monologue that someone wrote for her that day, she'll throw it on the floor refusing to do it. These stories that Benjamin shared were eye-opening to a lot of people, and they used these stories as more fuel to cancel Ellen. At number three, Mark Ruffalo. In 2019, Ellen made a number of people mad because she was seen hanging out with former POTUS, George W. Bush. The backlash got so bad that it prompted Ellen to make a statement about it on her show, where she defended her friendship with Bush, saying, quote, When I say be kind to one another, I don't mean only the people that think the same way as you do. I mean be kind to everyone. A lot of people were mad about Ellen's defense because they believed it, quote, minimized the severity of Bush's actions as president, which included starting the Iraq war and fiercely opposing gay rights. One celebrity who was very opposed to Ellen's friendship was actor Mark Ruffalo, and he had some words for her. In response to Ellen, he tweeted, quote, Sorry, until George W. Bush is brought to justice for the crimes of the Iraq war, including American-led torture, Iraqi deaths and displacement, and the deep scars, emotional and otherwise, inflicted on our military that served his folly, we can't even begin to talk about kindness, end quote. Though this took place in 2019, people still use Ellen's friendship with Bush to further cancel her, saying that the company she keeps also makes her a mean person. At number two, Tony Okumbawa. When Ellen was facing the wrath of the internet in response to her toxic workplace allegations, some celebrities came to her defense, but others didn't. 
One person in particular who chose to speak out against Ellen was DJ Tony Okungbawa. Tony worked on The Ellen Show for many years, being the show's first DJ and having been a part of the team from 2003 to 2013. He had experience being on the inside, if you will, so when he came out to back up these toxic workplace claims, people were quick to believe him. When asked about his time on the show and his perspective of the workplace, he said, quote, I was on air talent from 2003 to 2006 and from 2007 to 2013. While I'm grateful for the opportunity it afforded me, I did experience and feel the toxicity of the environment." End quote. He also expressed solidarity for the other staff members and demanded change when he said, quote, I stand with my former colleagues in their quest to create a healthier and more inclusive workplace as the show moves forward. Because he claimed to have felt the effects of this toxic environment, it showed people that this had been going on for a long time because of how long Tony was part of the team. This wasn't anything new, people just didn't talk about it until now. And finally, and number one, Kevin T. Porter. As I mentioned earlier, Kevin T. Porter sends out a tweet at the height of Ellen's cancellation asking for people to share their horror stories about the comedian and said that he would make a $2 donation to a food bank for every insane story he received. Because of him and his tweets, a lot of people came forward talking about their bad experiences with Ellen and this really added most of the heat to Ellen's ever-growing fire. Because of the amount of people who tweeted in response to this prompt, it caused this scandal to grow bigger and bigger, painting Ellen to look more and more like a villain. Kevin's tweet received 2,800 replies along with over 17,000 retweets and over 70,000 likes. This thing blew up and made the scandal erupt to become even bigger than anyone thought it would. The repercussions have been severe to say the least as Ellen's career hasn't been the same since, so I believe that we have Kevin to thank for the scandal becoming as big as it did. Now I want to know your thoughts on Ellen DeGeneres. I know this whole workplace scandal was last year's business, but it seems like Ellen just can't seem to shake it. Are you still an Ellen fan or have you broken up with the talk show host? Let me know down in the comments. Anyways, that's been our list. I've been your host, Bree Room, and until next time, stay safe, do something nice for someone today, and stay groovy, friends. Bye!